My fall trip to Florida started on October 24th for Nancy remaining behind to continue her physiotherapy for her healing fractured hip. I did not fly this time as I helped my friend Roseanne drive her car to Florida as she had just purchased a home in Dade City. One of the first persons I visited after my arrival was Marie Mendel and saw her newly installed cabinet from her northern home full of Disney characters. The day after my arrival, I had a surprise visit from JP and Sylvie Demers, who rented in our park last year and now have a winter home in Naples. I was also fortunate to arrive in Fountain View in time to celebrate Janine and Duane Gardner's 65th wedding anniversary at the clubhouse. Tammy Gamble and her team organized a wonderful Halloween party at the clubhouse. We all dressed up, we had a costume contest, played games, and enjoyed a potluck. On Thursday, a lot of us residents make a weekly trip to Culver's on Pine Island Road to enjoy a group luncheon. I really enjoyed the U.S. Air Force's Thunderbirds at this year's Puta Gorda Air Show. I took a trip down to Fort Myers Beach and stopped at one of my favorite waterfront bars, Benita Bills, and couldn't help notice the boat was still inside the restaurant from the day Hurricane Ian struck the island over a year ago. Tammy Gamble organized a birthday party for her husband, Lenny, at Habanera's Mexican Restaurant, which was enjoyed by over 30 fountain viewers. Unfortunately, a cut on my leg took me to an urgent care clinic in Cape Coral, and surprisingly, the seven minute wait time to see a doctor was true. On November 11th, Jim Sharp organized a Veterans Day service at our Field of Honor where we honored our vets, including Nancy's dad, who served in World War II. The highlight of the fall was a four-day visit to Cocoa Beach and staying in a beach house with Fountain View friends. We also celebrated the mutual birthday of Nancy and I while we were there, and we also visited Ron John's surf shop to buy some beach apparel. I want to thank my golf team for inviting me to weekly happy hours and keeping me entertained. A sporting highlight for me was to see the Florida Gulf Coast University women's basketball team defeat the University of Kentucky at the Alico Arena. I always enjoy the sunset at Fort Myers Beach with the pier in the foreground, still missing its boardwalk thanks to Hurricane Ian. I went to Sanibel Island to record my third video in its recovery and restoration from Hurricane Ian, and segments of this video will be aired on the ABC Network show Hearts of Heroes to be aired in the new year. I enjoyed doing a video of my neighbor Gilda Shepherd's very Christmassy decorated home. What a winter wonderland she has created. I enjoyed working with Don Hoffman and her team in videoing this year's Thanksgiving Day activities all dedicated to our new water plant. The day ended with a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner being served in our clubhouse. One music event I organized this fall was to take 16 fellow Fountain View residents to hear Mike and Bethany and his blues rockers at the Naughty Parrot in Marina Town. The video I enjoyed doing most this fall was the detailed walkthrough of our new water plant with Paul Sagal explaining the new features and how it all works to give us water. After six weeks in Florida, it was time to fly back to Canada to be reunited with much missed family members. Nancy and I will return together to Florida on January the 4th.